Today we will see some interesting examples related to representation of rational numbers on the number line. There are equal distances between any two points on the number line shown below. Find out the rational numbers denoted by points P and Q. There are equal distances between any two points on the number line shown. To find this distance, we will subtract the number to the left of it from a number. For example, here 0 minus minus 1 by 7 is equal to 1 by 7. That is, distance between 0 and minus 1 by 7 is 1 by 7 units. This tells us that if we move to the left of 0 on the number line, the numbers are decreasing by 1 by 7. Here, we are getting point P by moving 1 by 7 distance to the left of minus 6 by 7. So, this will represent the point minus 6 by 7 minus 1 by 7 is equal to minus 7 by 7. That is, the number will represent minus 1. Similarly, now you find out which rational number will fall at point Q. Find it by yourself. Next example, represent 35 by minus 8 on the number line. If the denominator of a rational number is negative, first we make it positive. For this, we multiply both the numerator and denominator by minus 1 so that there is no change in the value of the number. This will give us the rational number minus 35 by 8. Minus 35 by 8 is a negative rational number. So, its position is to the left of 0. We can write minus 35 by 8 as minus 4 and 3 by 8. This shows us that the position of given rational number is between minus 4 and minus 5. To find the exact location, we divide the unit distance between minus 4 and minus 5 into 8 equal parts. We will denote minus 4 and 3 by 8 means minus 35 by 8 by taking 3 parts out of these 8 parts. Next example, each of points P, Q, R, S denote a rational number of 3 by 2, minus 4 by 5, 10 by 3 and minus 7 by 4, but not in given order. Point Q should neither be at extreme left nor at extreme right. Point R is to the immediate right of point Q. Point P is to the right of point R. Find the rational numbers represented by each point and arrange them on the number line. Pause the video and try to solve this puzzle by yourself. Let me tell you. Let us first arrange the points P, Q, R, S in the correct order from the given information. The first information tells us that Point Q should neither be at extreme left nor at extreme right. That is, it must be somewhere in the middle. We can say that point Q will be either at this place or at this place. Let us show these two possibilities as follows. From the second information, we find that point R is at the immediate right of point Q. In this way, we can show the point R at this place or at this place. From the third information, we find that point P is to the right of point R. In this case, point P can be placed to the right of point R, but in this case, it is not possible to do so. So, these types of arrangement are wrong. Now, we will place the remaining point S in the blank. This will give us the order of points. SQRP. Similarly, we will now arrange the given rational numbers in the increasing order. For this, we will use the number line, that is, we will represent the rational numbers given on the number line. 3 by 2 is a positive rational number. We can write this as 1 and 1 by 2. Hence, 
its position is between 1 and 2. To find the right place, we will divide the distance between 1 and 2 into as many paths as the denominator, that is, 2 paths. Since the numerator is 1, by taking one of these two paths, we will denote number 1 and 1 by 2 or 3 by 2. Similarly, we will denote minus 4 by 5, 10 by 3 and minus 7 by 4. Considering the order of rational numbers and the order of given points, we can now say that point S is the rational number, minus 7 by 4, point Q is the rational number, minus 4 by 5, point R is the rational number, 3 by 2 and point P represents the rational number, 10 by 3. So today we have seen some interesting examples related to representation of rational numbers on the number line.